Oh, thank you. And this is actually gel polish 54, which is this really pretty like neon purple with ultra moon cat eye. What do you guys think? That's pretty cool, right? So these are done baking. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna really gently file the sidewall. Keep that nice old oval fantasy. Have you ever noticed that press-on gel smells like bubblegum gel? They are sisters. Bubblegum gel, press-on gel, and DIY, they're all sisters. Uh, no, the sparkling diamond gels are not in Canada yet. I don't want to taper in the edge too, too much because I want to keep them nice and round at the end. Hi, Max. Hello. Yes, Sparkling Diamond, and they're from the Magic Syrup line. Oh, it's doing a lot better. See, look, it's not like it didn't get like blistered or anything like that. I'm so lucky. Antonia is here. Speaking of Bayonetta, we were just talking about you. Somebody said, where's Antonia? I was like, well, it's Saturday, and she lives in Florida, so she's probably out dancing. Beautiful. Secret drill bit cleaner. I'm not sure. Ever let me add to cart. Maybe you should try restarting your device because um, it is working. She's probably at the dollhouse in Fort Lauderdale. He agrees with the Bayonetta comparison. That is, see, great minds think alike. So I'm going to take the first bit and just really gently blend in the cuticle. My drill bit's only at 14,000 RPM, but you can see a little bit goes a long way because remember these nails are made out of soft gel, not hard gel. So you don't have to take like an extra coarse drill bit or a 100 grit file to them. Just a nice, easy, light touch to tailor them to the finger. Has anybody seen the movie Marry Me yet? It doesn't look very good. I noticed that it was free on Peacock, but is it worth it? Is it worth two hours of my life? It should be working. Is anybody else having issues adding a bubblegum gel to their cart? She loves her tumbler. What did she put in it?
That movie is not good. It seemed like it. It seemed like it wasn't very good. Diet for or not with that. So the movie's a pass. I really want to watch House of Gucci, but I don't want to pay... Oh, ginger ale! I do not want to pay 20 bucks for it. Are there some bundles by the bits? Yes, there's a few different bit sets that we carry, so... It really comes down to what's going to work best for you. That's why we have such a huge variety of bits. And of course, we sell the drill bit container on the website as well. I'm going to take a diamond mani bit, actually, and just really, really gently refine the cuticle a little bit more. And they won't let you, uh, bye bye, have fun, bye. They won't let you rent House of Gucci on like Amazon Prime or the other, what, Voodoo I think? You have to buy it and I was like, eh. I've only ever bought one movie on Amazon Prime, you guys, and that was uh, the Tammy Faye one. Cuticle laser bit is incredible. I'm not going super hard on my nails because I do have the peel off base coat. So if I blend in a lot, it will make the nail pop off. There we go. Like I'm pretty sure I have all of them. Do you have a tip if you want a more dramatic C curve than what the one, two, three press on has? The XX, the sculpted series, all of them have a really deep C curve. So I'm not sure which one you have right now. That you, um, do you have like more of a natural one or the maximum series? Those are more on the flatter side. But all the X uh, sculpted series, they all have really deep C curves, except for the mini sculpted series. It's not too C curvy. It's a little bit more on the natural side. But the XS sculpted series is very, very C curvy. Beautiful. And don't forget you guys, right now we have the V-Day promo code, V-Day14 to save 14% off your entire purchase for Valentine's Day. I like the top bits. I, by watching, I feel that you are Raviate. I'm not sure what that means. I hope you love your Tumblr. I did send the picture in. She's probably working on that right now. Can we use tips also without using bubble gum gel? Can we use tips without also using... I'm not sure what that means. So I'm taking a smoothie buffer and just really gently going over the surface.
Uh, I'm not sure we don't use really recommend regular glue for applying these nails because then it won't last. And then you can also get water underneath or crystallization. Remember these nails are manufactured for specific purposes and specific products. So if you repurpose them for other uses, then we can't really, you know, guarantee the outcome of the result because it's being repurposed. Oh, there you go, yes. So you can use any one of our gels to apply to 123GO. So the top three are DIY gel, press-on gel, and bubblegum gel. Those gels have all been manufactured specifically for the application of the nails. Which last longer? They all last the same. They are all sisters, so they all pretty much do the same thing, but they all have different viscosities. Coverage pre made gel nails, that's right. Maybe Valentine's Day, I'm still not quite sure yet, but I should uh, make up my mind now because we're getting down to the nitty gritty. That's right, especially if your nail is flat or your client's nail is flat, bubblegum gel will fill in the gaps really beautifully. All that dust. This is a pretty length and just like a really nice nude color, and then you're done. Good to go. Or maybe just a milky shiny. So, from the Glitterberry collection, which is really beautiful and really sparkly, we do have a really pretty lavender, which is 108. No, no, 108 is the pink. See? That's what happens when you get old. I'm gonna get my swatches. Ah, the lavender one is 103. You guys ready? Look at that. It's like candy. So adorbs. So I want to do a color underneath. Which one should we do? Just neon glitter. Pink. Some lavender. Too much lavender. All lavender. All lavender will not pop. Oh, look at this one. This is a pretty color for spring. This is pretty, but a little bit too light. We want a nice contrast for the glitter syrup. 
mean, it's so hard to choose because we have so many colors. Oh, this one. This is pretty. This is a pink number 14, which is like a really pretty camel-like color, like a caramel, like, see, look at that, like a nudie caramel, really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna do warm coats. Look how pretty that color is. And again, you guys, I apologize if I can't get to every single comment, okay? It's a little bit harder when you're snatching the phalanges. What do you guys think of this color? So timeless, right? Let's turn the hand upside down, let it self level out. A pink 14, I'm sorry, 14. So now we're gonna bake it 30 seconds. And we're going to get this really beautiful glitter berry color. And we're gonna drop it on our palette. And we're gonna get our pistachio ombre brush. Oh, never mind, I have one open here. Oh, and I found the colors to show you guys. Oh, such a bit. So this is 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. And you can buy them a la carte or you can buy them in a set. Hi Max, hi Deborah. Lots of bling, yes. At least one thing. This finger will be all completely covered in the fantasy. No, if Gloria Clark Clell comes and cleans the desk, I'm not going to be able to find anything. Like I did in my room. She just moves everything. So we're going to take this lavender, which is 103, MS 103. MS stands for magic syrup. 
And this one we're gonna cover it in this beautiful magic syrup color. So you kind of want to pat the glitter onto the nail and focus the majority of the glitter, especially the bigger ones, in the center of the nail. So that way they are more obvious and it also keeps the nail thinner. We don't want the phalange looking pervers. See? Let it self level out just for a few seconds. I'm gonna freeze it, okay? I love the thin Excel square. The glistening of the glitters. So I'm gonna add some here on my palette. So that way I can pick it up with my pistachio brush. And create a really soft beautiful ombre. See? If the camera will focus, there we go. And I'm doing it like this instead of just brushing it on because that way I can get a thinner application and more precise. I'm gonna keep the bigger glitters towards the center, okay? And let's wipe the brush. Super adorbs. We're gonna freeze that just 30 seconds. Ooh, and I want to show you guys something new. So, we're phasing out this shiny bottle. Well, not the bottle, but this effect on the bottle. And soon, all the shinies will have this hologram silver effect on them. And that's because, I don't know. I just think this looks cooler. It uh, complements the dom top better, I think. So now I'm just going to do a really thin coat of shiny. So 
Stella Fainten. Just to seal everything together so that way we can put our stickers on top, our stickers and our diamonds for the fantasy. And we're gonna use, everybody loves the flash stickers, that's because they're so dope. Let's get a little tweezers ready. The butterflies, maybe. Remember you guys, the flash stickers are now available in gold and silver. What do I do with my black and white letters? Okay, there. Down top is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. We worked so hard and we're so proud on our packaging. The limited edition ones. Kimberly's like, Lord have mercy. Lordy, Lord, Lord. Lost in translation. Since it is the day. Let's get some flash stickers in the silver hearts. Just make it pop, isn't that dope? And then one on the pinky. Remember you guys, we have over 450 nail stickers, literally like 500 nail stickers for the fantasy. Some stars. Our flash stickers have such an intense shine to them. They really are no joke.
I kind of want to do another sticker, but I feel like if I do, then it will be too tight for the rhinestones. So I think we're going to leave it like that with just two stickers. Because that's going to make it way too, too crowded. Because the girls want the diamonds. Let's get our diamonds ready. And we're going to apply Wonder Gel. Nice, even coat, like you're frosting a cake. We save pretty much almost every single live. <laughs> I think Bayonetta's out. Beautiful. So let's bake that 30 seconds and we're gonna get our diamond gel ready. Oh, good job, Max. I'm going to use some of the newer fairy stones as well, too, because we have a new purple one. Look how cool this one is. I'm going to take my vegan brush. So, get a little bit of diamond gel. Remember, diamond gel is great for small to medium diamonds, okay? And here I have some of the Crystal Spray Nails, too. This is Diamond Holic 74, and these are Fairy Stones. This is the Unicorn Fairy Stone, and then we have some of the Princess Pink and the new blue. Will the fairy stone fit? Oops. That fell in my... I can function now. Let's figure out. The organized chaos, as I like to call it. I 
I wonder if this one would be too big. Oh, it is, but it's so max. Let me take the pink one from the Crystal Sphere Nails. Oh, that's pretty. What do you guys think? Is that too big? <laughs> Maybe. What about up here? I wonder if she's cute. Bye bye! Nos vemos el lunes! Okay, that's cute. Not too much and not too little. And I actually found my flashy lamp so I can freeze these in place. Remember the bigger stones always push them towards the center of the nail to keep the nail skinny mini. What you doing around face? I pay you to do nothing. Oh, must be nice. Oh, I have to do your direct deposit right now too. There. A little opal one here. A little AP one. Too, too big, is it? That's cute. Yes, these are baby woman nails for me. Very short. Very discreet. And you guys can see always in odd numbers of stones. One, two, three, four, and then five right here. That's good. What do you guys think? Let's bake it just 10 seconds because now comes the piece de resistance. The big diamond fantasy. I'm gonna get a triple heart. Bubblegum gel as well. 
Some of the fairy stones, I'm going to take a star. Maybe a square too. Perfect. Then pull them down and clear. Scoop out what you need for the diamonds. Like Play-Doh, literally. And remember, you don't need that much. Something else too, that someone brought to my attention, is don't stick your fingers inside the bubblegum gel jar. Perfect. Maybe the star needs to be down here. So that way it sits flatter on the nail. See, and that's the cool thing about using the bubblegum gel is you can move them around until you have them where you want. Okay. And then you can just add here and there pieces of other stones that you want. I'm gonna freeze it just 10 seconds. Oh, I still have it behind me actually. And it's still covered in stones. Yes, diamond gel is thin. It's like a, a, it's a top coat actually. It's top coat mixed with gummy already in there. But it's only good for small to medium stones. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to take diamond gel, speaking of, and I'm going to go around the perimeter of the big stones to seal in that bubble gum gel. So that way I can also put small diamonds around. There we go. What do you guys think? Very simple, right? Okay, I think that's good for the size of nail. So now we're gonna bake for one whole minute. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
make sure nothing is facing the lamp because you don't want to bake anything in the jar because that's not very smart either. Ah, uh, Miss Julia, she's very opinionated, isn't she? She's like, you covered the knit love sticks. Well, such is life. Such is life. Can't have it all, can you? Remember you guys, diamond gel requires two minutes to fully cure so that we have a rock hard diamond application. They actually look really pretty into the lamp too. I need my cuticle oil because my hands are dry. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Here she is, ready to go. Oh my god, and the Super Bowl's tomorrow! How quickly is that? Of all things, the Super Bowl. Can't wait to hear about the halftime show. Who are you guys going for? What is it? The Bengals and the Rams? So remember, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're going to wait 10 seconds to let them finish the polymerization process, and then we can apply our cotton candy to the oil. Clean off my fingers so that way it doesn't look like I was eating fried chicken. And there we have it, look. Give you, oh, look how nice it contrasts with the maroon sweater. Johnny is feeling the bubblegum gel technique. Adorbs. Sorry, I was moving around the lamps. I'm not trying to get any one vertigo or anything like that. Love sticks. <laughs> Max and his bling and his love sticks. <laughs> oh, this is a video to remember. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It was a really interesting video. And what can I say? I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And don't forget, you have until Monday at midnight to use the promo code VDAY14. And I am going to head on out to the bathroom because I have to pee like a racehorse. And then I'm going to go over to Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.